can only depend on God. Yes. Whom mama came from, mm -hmm. whom daddy came from. Mm -hmm. And when we get to that resolute of mind and spirit, mm -hmm. then we can never, the minister said, be disappointed in life. Right. Because all of our success truly depend on our success and our belief in our know of God. Yes, sir. See, when you know God, then you are not easily frustrated. Come on, come on. And sometimes when you're struggling to know God, mm. when you're struggling in the darkness of the night, Jeez. when you're struggling with yourself, it seems frustration is always present. You know, friction finds itself yes, sir. always present. Yes, sir. You When you get up to go out or even put your foot down, to get out of the bed. Yes, sir. Or even to try and get out the bed. It seems as though the bed is holding on yeah. to you and, and you are holding on to the bed and you can't get up for prayer. Come on. Friction. Come on. Because it's always present. Mm. It's a natural force. Mm. And it's always there in our lives. So who do we depend on mm. to help us to deal with the friction that comes in our life? Mm. And we know as black people in this country, we don't even have to continue to remind us now because you know that part of the teaching. You should know right. who your natural enemy is today. For right. the natural enemy is making it manifest that he is your enemy. Yes. And that he has always been the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said your natural enemy. Because yes. everything in creation has a natural enemy. Yes, now you may not believe that, but that is true. So if it's in creation, the Lord creatures of God, if they have natural enemies, so does human beings. Yes, and who is our natural enemy? Sometimes we can be an enemy to ourselves. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, we are in the pathway of our own progress. That if we would get our own foot out of our way, we can make progress in our lives. But what happens when there is those who are retarding the movement or the progress that you want to make in your life that don't look like you, that don't talk like you or walk like you, and we must understand, brothers and sisters, though a sister who argued, Brother Carlos, that is ultimately our choice. Yes, that is true. Right. But brothers and sisters, you know, we have to think about what we say sometimes. Yes. Because it really manifests to a degree our illiteracy or our ignorance of our enemy. Yes. It makes us think that we are the reason that we are in the condition, <clears throat> pardon me, that we are in. Right. Mm -hmm. No, part of it is our fault, but the most part of this is that we have to put this on the slave master. That's yes, right. But he has been your teacher. Talk back to me. Right. He has been your doctors. Right. He has been your lawyers. He has been your judges. Has he not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why we can put the finger and point the finger to him is because he has been the stewards of the life force, the God in our lives. Mm -hmm. And when you get on the plane, the steward is, her job is to make sure you are comfortable. Mm -hmm. Or his job is right. to make sure you are comfortable. Come on. And they are there in the event that if something goes down, that they are there to support you, whatever that may befall you, on your journey to wherever you started, to wherever you plan to go. But they have been the stewards over the life force of the people of God. Yes, sir. You have gone to their schools, mm -hmm. haven't you not? Yes, sir. You sit in the classroom, and the majority of the classroom don't look like your black face. Right, right. Is that right? Yes, sir. So look at this beautiful black woman who was a graduate from Yale. Was it Yale? Come on and talk to me. I believe so. I think y'all do watch the news, don't you? Yeah, yeah. 
Pardon me, sister. Was it Yale University? It was. But she was treated like she was a stranger, mm. that she was lost somewhere. Right. Even though this beautiful black sister presented her ID, mm. proving to them that she was in fact a student. Right. So no, brothers and sisters, part of it is not our fault because we have tried to make progress under this current uh, uh, system of right. things. Right. Even in jurisprudence, right. we get no justice. Right. You mean to tell me it's our choice when we decide to drive while driving black Come that on. we get pulled over? Was that your choice? Right. When you left your house on a Sunday morning to go to church or a Monday morning to go to work, that was your choice? But mm. was it your choice to be pulled over Come on. by an officer? Right. Just because you don't have the right color? Come on. Heck no, brothers and sisters. That was not our choice. Mm. Because if it was our choice, we would not have been in this country. Mm. Right. But God wanted to test us. Yes, but we're here now. Yes, sir. And we've been here for the last 460 years. Yes. And it has not been a good ride for us. It has not been great joy being in this country right. while being black. Tell the truth. Yes, sir. You and I have suffered all the days of our life. Our mothers and fathers have suffered. And they have passed that suffering down to the children now yes. who are so-called free. But yet we are not free because we can't even express ourselves Come on. as a free people. Because everything in God's creation expresses itself. Come on, come on. Except the so-called Negro in America. Mm, right. Anytime we decide to speak against the ills that has affected us as a people, what is the consequence of that? We are watched. We are, we are harassed. And even to the point if you work for this system, you are fired from your job. Sure. Because you decided to go against the grain in this country. So, black people, who will we depend on? Mm. Who can we go to? We have tried the slave master. Mm -hmm. Has it worked for us? No, sir. Sir. Then why won't we make up our mind and depend on God and ourselves? Why don't we depend on each other? Mm -hmm. Come on. Because we have taught, we have been taught that you can't even put your trust in another black man. Mm -hmm. You can't even put your trust in a black woman. Right. Mm -hmm. So we can't even come to each other because we have been alienated mm -hmm. against one another. Mm -hmm. We have been turned inside out mm -hmm. that we don't trust nobody that looks like us. Right. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. If you want something done, you know what we say. You go to the white man. You go to a black man, he'll charge you this. He'll, he'll make up this. He'll make up that. And won't even do the work. So you can't trust a black man. That's what we say. And, in the, and even in the, not even just only in the subconscious mind. This is our conscious expression of each other. You know, I, man, I went to men and you can't trust Negroes. Because they don't tell the truth. Right, right. But you've been trusting the enemy. Come on. Right? Like he has told you the truth all the days of your life. Or if he's told you the truth, why don't you have your original name? Jeez. He told you, he told me, he told your mother, he told your father that he found us somewhere in Africa with bones in our nose. Come and on. you believe that crap. Come on. Come on. So you think that that's the only people that we had on that continent? Come on. And let me tell you something. Come on. Come on. You don't know Africa. Come on. Right. Because you've been in North America too damn long. Come on. Right. Over right. here in the poor part of our planet Earth. Come on. Well, Africa is the best part of our Earth. Come on, come on. And when you go there, we had great civilizations okay. before the white man came to that part of the Earth. Right. Because he knew that was the best part. He was there in Europe, yes. in the hills and caves, yes. yes. binding in because he could 
not come among the original people. Yeah, right. And we taught them yes, we did. expression. Yes, we did. Did we not? Yes, sir. Yeah. And we even nursed their children right. Okay. when they couldn't nurse their own. So don't talk to us about being a hate group or a hate teaching. This is truth yeah, that right. will set black people free. Yeah. But we don't want to hear the truth unless it's coming from our slave. Come on. Come on. So you will go to church and believe in a white Jesus Come on. Come on. before you would adopt and believe, not even adopt, because Jesus is our brother. Come on. That's your natural brother, yeah. but not the Jesus the I enemy gave us. Right. Even the Bible tells us right. that he had hair like lambs, lamb, 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 lamb. feet like brass, burnt as right. up. Burn but you and I will argue with each other Come and on. disbelieve in being uh, 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 or accepting the brother that was described in the book of Revelation. Daniel saw him as a man sitting as the ancient of days. Right. But you won't accept that mm. unless white folk come and tell. So they came out in Newsweek magazine with an olive complexion of Jesus. Right. You know why they doing that? Because of the teachings of the Honorable Elijah oh, Muhammad right. and the work of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Who want to talk that our minister is some false prophet. Come well, on. I tell you what. If he's a false prophet, then why is it that his rod is budding and yes. bearing fruit today? Come See, on. you're envious and jealous yes. of a man on, that man. God is blessing to call black people to do something for ourselves. That's not hate 